So there are advantages to planning on making baleage in operations. Uh, the first one is, is that when we harvest and get the forage off the field faster, the next cutting yields more. What we see is that when we drive over a field, as it has started to regrow, we're driving down leaves and stems, and then we're reducing the yield of next cutting. Our studies with alfalfa have shown that every day after mowing that we drive over the field, we lose 6% from the next cutting. Uh, this is why silage and haylage fields yield more than hay fields. So for example, if we are going to get our haylage off the field in two days, we'd expect about a 10 or 12% yield reduction from next cutting. If on the other hand, it takes us five days to get that hay off the field, then we're talking about a 30% yield loss to the next cutting, that's significant. So getting the hay off the field faster by putting it up a little bit wetter and wrapping it can increase the yield of the next field. When we harvest forage a little bit wetter for baleage, we have less leaf loss. The impact of that is the leaves have the highest digestibility, they have the most protein content, and so the wetter we harvest the forage, we end up with more leaves, and therefore we end up with a forage that is a little bit lower in fiber, a little bit higher in digestibility, and higher in crude protein content. The other thing that happens is that in baleage, we do end up with a slightly more palatable forage. Because the stems are in that higher moisture environment, uh, particularly if we put it up on the wet end, there's some fermentation, but all those things soften the stems and then make it more palatable to the animals. I think we all have seen bales fed in bunks where the cattle are gonna leave the stiffest, hardest stems behind. And if we make baleage, we have less of that feed refusal and therefore higher feed intake.